Hello, um, I'm really happy to introduce the new version of Premiere Pro CC. It's already announced, but it will be available new in some uh, weeks, or very soon. And uh, the main part is to support the OpenCL technology by Fire Pro IMD. So I've got several uh, footage here, which I can show you in this case. So everything is here, in this case, supported by the, the GPU, for example, effects, scaling. And also the scaling in the canvas is also supported by the open CL technology. So if you scale something, if you make it bigger, smaller, or reposition it, this is already supported by the open CL. Uh, I wanted to show you a different parts of it, for example, cinema DNG footage. In this case, uh, the debayering is done by OpenCL, and as you can see, I've got some titles here, I've got some uh, logos, alpha channels there, and also um, some effects, like a three-way color corrector, which I can switch off and on while playing the video, and I can also adjust some um, options here, and you can see it's changing while playing, so the OpenCL technology here is working very well. I've got several layers and everything is done in real time. Uh, another thing is 6K. Um, so I've got 6K footage here too, and I can also play it. Um, it, will, it is done in real time. Another thing is, for example, several layers of uh, red footage. I already mentioned the OpenCL work in Canvas. And here also some green screen uh, footage, some logos inside, some titles there. Um, so this is also very important. When I switch to the overlays, which I can see here as an option, I can also see, for example, the source code here in my window, in my program window, and I can add some more markers, for example, information in my window. I can add uh, the sequence clip name to the windows. And this is also supported by the graphic card um, and by, uh, by the OpenCL technology. Let's go to another great application by Adobe. This is Adobe Media Encoder. Adobe Media Encoder also supports, in this case, um, the OpenCL technology. So I've got preferences here, which allow me to switch between OpenCL and, um, and software mode. So I have the video renderer, Mercury Playback Engine, which shows me I've got already switched on the OpenCL technology. So this is one of the points which is very important here. And I've got also other possibilities. When I change the settings, the export settings of my um, media encoder, I can see several effects and options here. So for example, the Lumetri look effects, which you know from Speedgrade or Premiere Pro, the last um, releases. You can change the um, lookup tables here and see already a preview. And this is done by OpenCL, so by the graphic card. We can, we can go, for example, for a day for night and render it out for our customer. We have the possibility to do an image overlay where I can choose a picture in this case. For example, I can choose a watermark there. I open it here and you see it's, it's there where I put it. And I can do it in the center, I can do it top right, top left, wherever I want it to have. I can also add some name overlay, for example, the source file. Um, or output file when I need it, so that I know what I'm rendering now. And I can do also timecode overlay, which uh, can be positioned wherever I want. And I can generate a code, or I can take the code from the media file. All those things, export settings, can be set here and are um, supported by the graphic card as itself. I want to show you also the possibility to change the video rendering from software only to OpenCL when your graphic card supports it. Yeah. Uh, another thing I would like to show you is a direct link to Speedgrade. 
So I open a project where I have several, um, several layers of video in this case. And I would like to change the settings of those layers, for example, to scale, scale uh, this one. And there are also some lumetry effects on it. I want to switch it off. And I can go directly to speed rate, as you can see, four layers of video, file, and then direct link to speed grade. Yes, I would like to open speed grade. And it opens um, speed grade application. and loads all my data and all my files directly into, into SpeedGrid so that I can see also a preview of SpeedGrid. I have all the layers here, for example, and I can change the settings of those videos. I can add, for example, some primary or secondary um, look. So I've got cinematic look, which I can add to to the layers then to change all the looks and for example here for day and night and when I'm ready doing this in uh, OpenCL I can jump back into Premiere Pro use the direct link again to save the project and it will be directly loaded into my Pre Premiere Pro um, to Premiere Pro composition that I can work there directly. So um, when it comes to other effects, we've got also the possibilities to uh, use the multicam editing. I would like to show it to you. So we've got a multicam editing possibilities here. And we can play several layers of video and use, for example, two, one, three, the buttons to choose the cameras which I want to see in my monitor. So also here, a lot of possibilities to improve your speed using a graphic card. Um, another application which is supported by OpenCL is in this case Photoshop. One of the new effects which we are uh, using here is the new sharpen filter which is called smart sharpen uh, I can choose the amount of sharpen the radius uh, we can reduce the noise and as you can see directly when we apply this effect the effect works perfectly on on our logo because this effect is using the OpenCL technology so it's using GPU so more and more uh, application, Adobe applications are using the OpenCL technology and working together to be very productive using the Creative Cloud. Thank you very much.